Hello everyone, it's Renee, the Practical Shaman. So it is time for the weekly Wind Spirit card pull. And it's even more important this week because Winds of Spirit was just released on audio. And much to surprise to some people, I did not read the book, but I entrusted it to this wonderful man, Nathan Agin, who I will be interviewing on the Practical Shaman podcast very soon. So you'll get to meet him and find out what his process was, was of meeting these wind spirits, uh, trying to interpret the pronunciations. And it was really quite involved in order to uh, do this book. So I'm really excited and I hope you all go over to Audible and start to listen to it because I know for some people, they quite haven't known how to use the book, Winds of Spirit, uh, despite despite its very ease of use because my Hay House editor, she suggested taking all, all of the winds and putting them in the fourth section like so. And then what you can do in the inner winds, I'm going to show you this, and the inner wind forces of nature, which you could also skip ahead to when you're listening to the audible, you could just flip a page and open to a wind spirit. And so that's what I decided to do today. And the wind that I called to, and what I was thinking of my question was, was what do I need to know about winds of spirit in the audible format? And so I opened up to Strebog, the Slavic wind of dispersal. Call on Strebog when you are in need to disseminate information, increase your wealth, or expand your awareness and receive consensus for an idea or project. Now, me telling you about Winds of Spirit going out onto Audible this week, what more would I need to do to disseminate information, increase the wealth, and expand the awareness and receive consensus? Because as as more and more people listen to the book, as more and more people read the book, as more and more people start to use their wind spirit cards and their wind whistler tools, the, the information gets spread further and further on the wind. Okay, so I think I'm going to read the east because this is a new beginning. And so I'm going right to the east. If Strebog soars in on the back of his eagle as an easterly spring wind, it means seeds of creation are being pollinated. New thoughts and ideas are abundant. Remember to ask, is now the time to act or should I set my intentions to prayer for manifestation? In either scenario, ask Strebog to answer your questions and prayers. Patience is a deliberate action set forth by the mind. Let me repeat that. Patience is a deliberate action set forth by the mind. Once you decide to act, know that Strebog will blow fortune your way. Now, I want to say this about patience. When when I was asked to write a book about the wind, I, I really, I looked up at the heavens and said, really, a book about the wind? Are you kidding me? People hate the wind. Although, of course, in the, the last 10 years, I found out that there's a lot of wind believers, and that's just not the truth. And as I learn to cooperate and navigate with the wind, they become my allies. So if you're one of those people who think like wind, oh, please give it a second, give it a second blow. But when in my life, I thought like, okay, hey, house book, we're going to be famous now. And lo and behold, that didn't happen the i had to spend the next five or six years building a wind tribe and when i went to the wind i thought like well tell me tell me tell me tell me what is this i have to wait again and they said well what do you think your your farm to table restaurant was that was 20 years ahead of its time and what do you think opening a holistic healing network was 10 years before its time we were teaching you to wait so if you're not getting what you want right now in your life, it may be that the winds are teaching you patience, patience for waiting, patience for timing, patience for the magic, patience for what, whatever it is that happens in divine timing, because it's never our timing. So one of the things that you can do when you work with your wind whistle is you can move into gap space energy. And that's where magic happens. It happens in the gap. It happens in between the passing of two animals out in the field, in between the two leaves blowing on the tree, 
in between you and your lover, the magic happens in the in between space. So let's call to that magic that lives in between spaces. And where do we find that? In our breath. So we're going to take a deep wind breath in. We're going to hold it to the count of seven. And then we're going to release it. And as we release it, let's release anything we've been impatient for and send it down through your coccyx bone into the belly of the earth that will mulch that energy. And on the second wind breath, let's call to Strebog to come in to give us that patience for that success, that patience for that abundance, that patience for that dispersal, so that we can wait in this spring wind for the timing is right that our seeds will grow. And then we'll blow that out. And then on that third wind breath in and out, we will uh, hold it and then connect us to all of our other brothers and sisters that are and animals, because Sami's right here today in full force, that need that patience. And her patience is she wants to go out and she can't go out, but she can sit here and be a good kitty. All right. So get your wind whistle if you have one. And if you don't have a wind whistle, you can use your you can use your fingers and it may be very helpful for you to listen to the audiobook of this in order to really feel the vibration and the wind spirits coming through you in through this work because truthfully this work had been buried in the caves of time and it's now you know being released and six years later with the audiobook we're really releasing it to to have more and more accessibility to people because wind is spirit Holy Spirit, wind, Ruach, wind, Nirvana, wind, Om is the sound of wind. It's all wind. All right. So let's close our eyes and bring that first breath in, that wind breath in, that wind that connects us to everything. And release all that you're impatient for down through your coccyx bone into the earth. <sighs> Remain in that emptiness. And on that second wind breath in, bring in Strebog, the wind of dispersal, the Slavic wind. And release. And then fill up with that wind of Strebog that connects us to community. Hold it and feel that expansion of that love and that light. And disperse that wind around the world, sending out your love and your harmony and your patience for all. And I, am, I suggest that you do these wind breathing every single day. It brings you present into the present moment where you can express gratitude for all that is and all that you're waiting for. And remember, now Winds of Spirit is on Audible. So you can just flip open to a chapter in the fourth section and have it read to you on a daily, on a weekly basis. And stick with us. Follow us over at the Wind Clan. My name is Renee Barabo, the Practical Shaman, bringing you the wind and other great tools of awakening. Have a wonderful, blessed day.